Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Penny with In Stitches with Penny. I have a fabric haul for you today. I took a trip to Boulder, Colorado and found two amazing fabric stores. They're both very different, so I can't say I like one over the other. I love both of them. They are amazing. One is called Elfried's. It's a fine fabric store and a fine fabric store it was indeed. You walk in, the people were very friendly. They helped me all throughout and they had wools and cottons and viscose and silks and I mean it was just and it was for garment sewing which is what I like to do because I'm not a quilter. A quilter could also go to this store as well because in the beginning they have beautiful quilts or quilting fabrics for <laughs> I should say and I wanted to show you what I got. I got, I think I did really well. So the one, this was one thing I kept coming back to. Um, this is a broke, it's a brocade, it's a cotton brocade and it's reversible. So I can use either side. It's really soft and drapey. Hopefully you can kind of see, see how drapey it is. I believe I got two and a half yards of this. So what I wanna do is make a jacket and I wanna be able to use both sides. So I don't know if I want one side one color, one side another, I don't know, I'm gonna to have to play around with it. It's 100% cotton, I can put it in the wash, I will need to pre-wash it. And look, it. I think right in here looks a little, kind of a blue-gray to me. So that would be fun to maybe put a gray pair of pants or a skirt, cream, little tan, black. I just thought it was really versatile. And 100% cotton, I wish you could feel it, and it's just really, really nice. I just loved this one, I just couldn't go out of the store without it. So there was one find. So let me look back in my bag. I got this big bag. <laughs> it gave me this big bag of all my stuff. So let's go down even further. This is cute. They used a Vogue pattern <laughs> for wrapping. That's a great idea. I think that's really clever. So let's open this up. This might be all of my interfacing. Oh no, this isn't. This is this piece of silk. Sorry, that's so noisy. Look at this piece of silk. Look at this. It was just draped over other bolts or rolls, I guess. Look at that. Look at the colors. This is all silk. Just thought it would make a really nice scarf. So I don't have to do much to it. Isn't that gorgeous? So this was super expensive at regular price. This was a hundred dollars a yard. I've, and I didn't spend that today. I'll tell you the deal they gave me. And in this piece is a yard and a half that the lady measured out. Look at that. Goes from this blue to aqua to green to yellow. I just think this is just just beautiful. Be really nice for um, for spring. But I've decided this winter I'm not going to wear all dark dark colors. I want to wear more January kind of colors. Even though I have a very fall fall shirt on, <laughs> and this is an itch to stitch pattern. By the way, it was really fun to make. So I got this. She, oh, that's pretty too. Look at that. Just look at that. Every angle, it's just gorgeous. And you can see how flowy it is. And you can kind of see through it. So it's definitely for a scarf. So they had it on sale for $48 a yard. Okay, that's, that's still kind of high. That's not usually in my price range. She gave me the whole piece for $48. So it ended up being like 40, which is still expensive, but it is silk. And just look how beautiful that is. So I'm really excited. I just have to put a really pretty finish on the edges here. And gosh, it's gonna be done. <laughs> so I loved that one. Let's look. Oh yeah, they had a lot of panels, which I thought were really clever. So you can use a panel for, uh, uh, this one I'm gonna do a shirt. Look at the colors. I love the colors. I love purples and aquas along with blacks and grays. That's just my favorite color combination. And so this this, this is a panel. You kind of see, there's one panel. 
And then the other panel, of course, it's upside down, but there you go. So it's just a beautiful knit. It's not too th thin, so it would make a really nice top. And so I got two panels. I believe this was $26 a panel, so take that times two, because I want to make a long sleeve shirt. Kind of like the penny top. I don't know if I'm gonna put a cowl. It depends on how much fabric I have left, if I'm gonna do a cowl neck or not. But I just thought this was fun. It would just be fun to use, you know, the use my penny top as a basis for each panel. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is cotton, by the way. They had a lot of natural fibers in there, which just feels good against the skin. And they even had bamboo knit. That would be fun to go back and get some. Okay, so that's that one. They did have French Fuse, which is a knit type interfacing. That was really cool. I was really, I like to use the knit fusible interfacing. You, if something is too thin, you can thicken it up. I like to square out my shoulders up here instead of doing a shoulder pad, have a little structure and put that in there. So I got this is the white one. It's not 60 inch wide like you can find other places, but you know, they had it, so I got it. The other French fuse I got, this one is 60 inches wide, and it's a nice gray knit. I mean, it looks pretty. <laughs> Even if, if you wanna French fuse your whole front of your jacket, if you open it up, it'll look great, because that's, that's beautiful. And then here, this bumpy side is the glue side where you would steam it down onto your fabric. So that was kind of fun. I thought this was pretty. I got the last of the bolt. It's kind of summery, but I didn't care. I liked it anyway, and I'll probably make something like my penny top. But look at this. Look how pretty those colors are. These are my absolute favorite colors. <laughs> it tends to to work well with, with my skin tone, my red hair, well, what once was red hair, <laughs> and fair skin. So I just love that. I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do with it. Probably a top. Um, we'll see if I have enough for a dress. I think I got three, three yards of this one. Two to three. I think I got three, two and a half or three. I'm not sure, I'll have to measure it out again but always pre-shrink your fabrics. This was also a panel. It's a knit, it's like a double knit, so it's thicker, so I thought it'd be really pretty for a jacket. I love jackets, because you could. it's just such a statement piece that you can just throw over solid colors. We usually have solid colors. I do in my wardrobe anyway. This is black and white, let's see. And look at this. I could do it this way, have the, the large feathers on the top, and see how it variegates down? Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. And again, you bought this by the panel, or you could start with the small at the top and then work down. I just thought this was gorgeous. I thought it would be pretty to make a jacket, maybe a little bit asymmetrical that had a button on this side. So I found, let me put it in this little sack. Let me see if I can pull it out so it's not so shiny. They have this, all these beautiful buttons and they weren't that expensive. This button I think was $2.50. <laughs> so, and it's wood, it's a wooden button. Look at that. Just a fun, I told her I wanted a fun, chunky button. So I got that. So wouldn't that be cool, just a little, you know, I don't want to take away from the feathers going down. And this is just a nice, I'm not even going to line this because it feels so good This with one layer. And then put my little chunky button somewhere. I'll figure it out. So that's what I got at El Freed's. It's off of Canyon Road. In, in, like Canyon Road and 26th, something like that, in Boulder. I'll put the link below where to go. It's just, it's a beautiful store. Walked in, instantly I just fell in love with that store. I will definitely be back, that's for sure. So then I, I hung out with my grandson today. He's three, 
<laughs> he likes to go fabric shopping with me. He's just like, Nana, look at this one. And I let him take a little toy. And so he's really good. He doesn't get into anything. He just plays with his toys. And then the shop owners give him more toys. So he's, he's fine when I take him places. So I went to Elfried's. Great. You have to go. It, it, it is more on the expensive side, but the fabric is quality. So you get what you pay for. That's what I always say. And I know these are fabrics that are going to last me for a while. So we went to lunch and then I thought, I'm in, while I'm in Boulder, because Boulder is an hour away. So I just want to go up to one shop and come back. And I kind of wanted to break out of the realm of Joann's. I have Joann's here, just around the corner from my house. It's within a mile, so I didn't need to do that. And I found another shop off of Pearl Street. If you, if you know Boulder, the main drag, you know, is Pearl Street. So I went to a place called Fabricate, and I'm gonna sh and I took a ton of pictures on the way. It's a neat little store. I didn't buy as much because I had already purchased a lot from Elfried's, but I will definitely be back. This this store carries more of the cottons than you know. You could definitely make uh, you could definitely make garments out of it. And I did find this one fabric I want to show you. A lot of cottons for quilting, but it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was just a quilt shop. I didn't even really feel like it was a quilt shop. I just felt like it was, a, it was just a beautiful shop that had, they had yarns, embroidery, floss, a lot of indie patterns. They had, I saw Tilly and Butt, Tilly and the Buttons, Tilly and Buttons. I saw Grain Line Studio, Cashmere and a few others that I had not recognized yet. So that was fun if you wanted to get a pattern like that. They had a little studio for sewing classes. It was just a cute, cute little store. And the people there were so nice, so nice. They brought a bag of toys for my grandson so he could play, so I made him clean it up so, you know, we didn't leave the store in a mess. So I didn't find that many things to buy today, but I will definitely be back because their cottons would be fun for jackets, and I found one. I found this book. I just love books like this. It's you know for inspiration, and this this author makes very simple things. And I I don't know. I just I really oh it looks like we have a pattern back here too. So I really loved the book. I just thought it was beautiful, and I just really wanted to look at it. And it says key pieces to sew and. So I don't have my glasses on. Let me put my glasses on so I can read that. Key pieces to sew plus accessories, styling, and inspiration. I love the book because it was just so pretty and it would just be a good reference to have in my library here. But this fabric, I wanna make a jacket. And I don't know what kind of jacket yet. I don't even think I wanna put buttons. I just want it to be like an over jacket. You know, something to wear over Gosh, a white t-shirt even, you know, would be nice. A white tank. Look at this. This is cotton. It's an organic cotton. And that's something you're going to find in Boulder is, you know, they're very eco-friendly. And, you know, I found bamboo. I found silk and wool and cotton. This is organic cotton. So it's, just, it's a nice weight. It's not like a cotton lawn. It's, it's almost canvassy. And I can't seem to pull out one. Let's see if I can pull out one layer here. Here we go. So it's kind of a lightweight canvas. But I think once I wash it, it'll be a little softer and it, will, and it will drape much nicer. I just love the colors. I loved the statement that it showed here. And I could wear it with navy. I could wear it with jeans. So I'll have some sort of jacket. Of course, the pattern goes this way jacket made out of this. And I might even play around with some pockets, maybe some welt pockets in the front. That might be kind of fun. And I have a technique I can show you how to make welt pockets. So that's really all I purchased at Fabricate. I don't even know if I told you, it's called Fabricate. And it's more on the Pearl Street shopping area in Boulder. Cute store. And there was lots of people kind of in and out and everyone was very friendly. And I will definitely be back there. So the first store, remember, was Elfried's. It's called Elfried's Fine Fabrics. 
go. It's awesome. And then the second one was Fabricate. So those are my two finds. You know, just kind of thinking outside the box and going to some nicer fabric stores. And these were definitely, these are definitely on my top list. And I've been to Mood, and I love Mood fabrics. Definitely, I love Mood. But I don't live in New York City, and I don't always want to order online because I don't know the, the texture of the fabrics. And it's just fun to go in and, and feel and, and kind of, I let the fabrics decide what I'm going to make. You know, sometimes that's, for me, that's easier. I have patterns, and I'm creating patterns through the Fit Nice system, and that's what I'm gonna do here. So the, for the first time in a long time, I'm really designing like I was back in design school when I went to TWU, and this time, I'm a little, I feel a little freer. There's some newer ideas, fresher ideas, than there was 35 years ago, <laughs> so. I, I look at fabrics a little bit different now. I just want to buy the fabrics and then figure out what I'm going to make. And I have another video that I'm going to share with you on how much, you know, if you're, if you are creating your own pattern, you're not using maybe one of the big fours or an indie pattern is how much to buy. So stay tuned for that video. That's going to come up later in the week. And, you know, go check out your area and see what you have. If you're in the Denver area, go up to Boulder. These two stores were amazing. <laughs> and I will definitely be back at some point. So I'm gonna be happy sewing here. I've got some ideas. I've got some pre-washing to do. I've got some work to do. So be sure to go up there and if you're in the, the area or look online. I'll put all the links below here so you can check it out yourself. If you are in the area, definitely, definitely check out these two places. They were amazing. So check out my other videos here on my channel. Subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll talk soon. Bye.